let's see how backup works for postgresql database in stash this image shows how stash backup of postgresql database a user have to create a storage secret the storage secret contains the access credential for backend the backend could be cloud storage or local storage then a user creates a repository the repository points to the storage secret for accessing the storage credential for the of the backend then a user creates a backup configuration crd the stash operator watches for backup configuration crd once stash operator finds the backup configuration crd it creates a cron job it creates a cron, cron job that was specified in backup configuration crd on the next scheduled slot the cron job triggers a backup session the stash operator watches for backup session when it finds a backup session object it resolves respective task and function and prepares the job definition to backup here the stash, stash operator will find a function for the postgres backup 14.0 task then it creates a job the backup job reads necessary information to connect with the database from the app binding crd if you are using kubedb kubedb will automatically create a app binding for your postgresql database otherwise you have to create your app binding manually then the job dumps the targeted databases and uploaded uploads the output to the backend stash pipes the output of dump command to uploading process hence backup job does not require a large volume to hold the entire dump output finally when the backup complete the job sends prometheus matrix to the push gateway running in such stash operator port it also updates backup session and repository status to reflect the backup procedure that's how stash backup works in the next video we will come with the restore process of postgresql database in stash